and getting mentally prepared to so we finally finished that road trip and now you we are back at home energy. to play These the Denver Nuggets are ready to go the busy freeways of Los Angeles a hallmark of this sprawling metropolis we're coming to you from Southern California greetings and best wishes for a happy holiday season from all of us at 2k sports as we get set for this NBA presentation. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is on our sideline. We've got a quick moment now to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for Cousins. It's a concerning trend for him. Uh, whether he's lost some strength or, or just isn't putting in as much effort on the glass as he used to, he's not rebounding nearly as effectively anymore. And that's something that needs to change. And with tip-off coming up, we've got just enough. Nuggets coach Mike Malone is... That's some pretty sound advice. Thanks, D.A. Clark, when you have two teams that are this athletic, what type of game you think you're going to see? Well, you know what? Sometimes it can lead to guys and trying some to do too bro. much. But when it's at its best with this kind of athleticism... Whoa, display, they're just sliding through like DMs now. A high octane fun game. Now the starting group for the Denver this Nuggets. team gave us some trouble last Sam time, Jokic, somewhat. But by the, the end, we kind of got him. And it's Murray in at the one spot. And for the Lakers. Up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. Shea is out there with Rajon Rondo. And it's James in at the three slot. It'll be Los Angeles off the tip. Shea outside. Kuzma passes to Che. Oh man, what the hell? Turnover already? And pushing it up. Here's Denver. Here's Murray. And it's Murray with the jam. Leaving folks open around Barton is a no-no. He'll torch you whenever you do that. Here's Los Angeles now. They put up a nice win against the Bucks the last time out. And guys, they, they walked into the arena with a certain kind of swagger. And we really saw it play out on the offensive end. And you know, confidence is key there. Um, they seem to play with a ton of it, especially on the offensive end. Here's Murray following the basket by Anthony Davis. Murray kicks to Jokic. Passes it to Barton. Down to five on the shot clock. Denver needs to get off a shot for three. Harris. You're not going to make that. Oh, let's go, Rondo. Goes to Rajon Rondo. And it's Rondo with the ball for Los Angeles. Down low, James. And it's good. Two points. Shea knows to have his we just hit our career high in assists and rebounds the last time out. Because that way you can deliver so to an open teammate on time, on time. Definitely trying to repeat that. And oh, there you stolen go. Stolen by James. And now the fast break, LeBron with the ball. Trying to find Davis, he's got it now. And the basket is good. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what, they're gonna keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here is Harris. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Jokic kicks to Murk over Rondo. The Nuggets with another miss. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result. Man, Rondo? I mean, the what the really hell is he doing? Any impact at all. And it's sent back by Millsap. Pretty cool to see Millsap turn shots back. I mean, he's a mobile, athletic big man. And one. Rondo is like feeling he's like Steph Curry, his man. Defensive work. No surprise there. I mean, realizing he has the size advantage, he exploits it perfectly. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for Los Angeles. You know, guys, we've really seen them do a lot of damage in the paint so far. And also another aspect of their game that's been super so far tonight is how they've been sharing the basketball. Now Jay following Will Barton's three-point attempt. Davis dishes to Jay. Just five to shoot. And here's LeBron outside. Gets the three-pointer to fall. James has got five points so far. Over the years, his catch-and-shoot jumper has gotten so much better. You can tell LeBron really worked on that part of his game. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one. Percent. LeBron James, number one. Shea, third. And that tells you about their ability to slash through the defense and get to the hoop effectively. I mean, because you have to be getting a lot of layups 
to have that kind of a percentage. That's accurate, but you can't do what they've done without a superb outside shot as well. I mean, that's not a problem for this group. They certainly can drain the jump shot. Well, Greg, you might know more about this than me, but the rumor is that Jay will be on the cover of NBA 2K21. I mean, what an honor. I saw some behind the scenes footage of Che doing some. Damn, that's, only, that's not a rumor okay. anymore, man. I it's just facts. can't imagine wearing that wetsuit covered in ping pong balls is, is comfortable. Great chance for Che to increase his presence, though. Here's Harris following the basket by Che. The pass to Barton. Here's the three. The rebound Get that by the shit. And you look at how the Nuggets have become the team they are. A lot All right. To do with player development. Exactly. I agree with you wholeheartedly. Denver has done a great job in the draft. Identify talent, stick to your guns in choosing that talent, then build it, develop it. Their front office has been fantastic. Here's Murray following the basket by Anthony Davis. For three, Harris. That's in. Coming off the assist from Jokic. I think this covers them, but they still got it right. Five points so far. He's really a dangerous perimeter shooter. Harris is great at cashing in from this spot on the floor. Feeds it to Davis. Lakers working the ball around now. And there it is for him. And that's now six points for Jay. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Here's Murray. What a tremendous game he played against Minnesota. Millsap up top. For Rondo, and again it's Denver. You know, an area worthy of further development for Murray is keeping his teammates involved. Outside Rondo, loads it up for Davis. Oh damn! It's tipped. Jokic oh shit! <laughs> and the I did not meant to foul. That's his first foul. And so it's Jokic with the ball. He brings it up for Denver. Eight-point game. They're coming off that win against Minnesota. Well, it helps when your opponent makes that many mistakes. I thought that was the story of the game. Oh, my yeah, I gosh. I think that was a big part right. of it for sure, as it is any time you make a bunch of mistakes. All they had to do was follow their game plan, and that's exactly what they did. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And the free throw line was a problem spot for him in their last game. Really struggled up there. Yeah, you know, he had a lot of misses for him. And it looked to me as though he just never was comfortable from the foul line. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense, Greg, has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. On the wing, James. Guarded by Harris. And that one's good, James. LeBron's got his third bucket of the night. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensive. And here's Harris from the arc. Trills the three-pointer. Man. Harris has got eight. I thought I had, well, he's I had really covers over it that. right now, shooting a high percentage to start this game. Rondo against Harris. Pass to LeBron. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Nine points for LeBron. How about he has yet to miss 4-4 to start? Yeah, he said. Oh, nice defense. Oh, be their go to guy today. Jay passes to Kuzma. And Kuzma slams it in. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. Barton finds Murray. Inside. And Davis sends it back. Oh, another block. Tell you what, Damn. Davis uses his length so well. I mean, a defensive stalwart who holds his ground. And because of his timing and length and athleticism, he's an Call me the best point block. forward ever. <laughs> Kyle Kuzma that's comes they in for James. They put me on a bench James early. checked in for Danny Green. Arjan Rondo subbed in for Caldwell Pope. Murray the pass to Jokic. And stolen by Cousins. Arjan Rondo is out there with Che. Then there's DeMarcus Cousins. Oh, he just Cousins. tapped it in. Then there's what a Kyle boss. Kuzma. And it's McGee in at the power forward position. That's the Laker five. 
well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer. Damn, Dale. what a pass. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Che in the last game against the Bucks was just phenomenal. He dropped in 29 points, but it was his season high in rebounds that really stood out. The stat line was filled, and the whole league was talking about it. We'll see what he does for an encore tonight, Kevin. Thanks, David. Yeah, it was a special night for him. The team really fed off his energy. Yeah, the catalyst for that win, it, it was an effort that I'm sure he's hoping to replicate tonight. Yeah, you know, all indications are that he feels good coming into this. Feels confident that he can build on that prior success. Murray outside to the inside from eight. And it's Jokic missing. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Here's Kuzma. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Well, it is puffy. <laughs> Jokic kicks to Harris. Oh, shit. I jumped early. And that one clearly a foul. See how many bump fakes you'll get to coming up. It's on JaVale McGee. And one thing you have to love about Gary Harris, the way he can explode to the rim. And Harris is a natural scorer from all parts of the floor, but he can just rocket himself for dunks you aren't used to seeing from players of his size and stature. Inside. Jay dishes to McGee. Back to Jay. Misses from close range. Wow, no foul. You know, sometimes making it difficult for him to finish at the rim is all you can ask for from the defense. The Nuggets with another miss. Los Angeles leading by 22. To the paint, here's Cousins. And oh, he just dunked over Jokic. Holy crap. You gotta love how Cousins is his size, his reach. He's more prolific on the defensive glass, but obviously a factor on the offensive end as well. Pass to Jokic. There's the three. No good. And the Lakers take it the other way. To the middle. Outside for Ronda. Shea passes to Kuzma. Here's Cousins. McGee trying to break free. And Shea gets it to go. Shea's got 10 points in the game. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Man, and he gets okay. the whistle. Two They're really bad at fouls. Up. It's like our centers. It's on DeMarcus Cousins. I love the way Gary Harris has played early in his career, but I think last season was solid, but a step back from what he was hoping for. His scoring and shooting dipped, and he just couldn't seem to find the consistency that he wanted all season long. Here's Rondo. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Down low. Knocked away and stolen by Harris. Man, no foul. 16 feet away. That's good on the jump shot. And for Harris, not the way he wanted to start the first year of his four-year deal. And, you know, given that he was in and out of the lineup and fighting injuries, I don't think it's something that he should worry about. I mean, Harris is still an outstanding player. He's got tremendous upside, and I think he's going to be outstanding as he grows in the league. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I got there in time. did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Harris with it. Now guarded by Jay. His fourth miss of the game. He's made three. Well, it looks like he's cooled down a bit after hitting those two in the first quarter. Barton against Kuzma. Side Rondo. Got yeah, Rondo's just going in. If he's one thing, he's efficient in the paint. Rondo really good with the positioning there, close to the basket. Barton outside for three. Kept alive. And another miss. Ooh, 
He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have, you're right. Oh, dunk that shit. Let's go. Jay is doing it all tonight, and they can't do anything to slow him down. Denver's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Murray surveying the D. No good on that one. Rondo with some nice D. Oh, he just let me go, man. And oh, that'll good be foul. two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The mid-range jump shot, you've talked about this a lot, is still valuable if you can hit it with consistency. Yeah, and if it's a quality shot, Kevin, I think you should shoot it. Move the defense, move the ball to get a quality shot, and I think one of the very best at knocking down the mid-range jump shot, Kevin Durant, clearly. But how about Chris Middleton? Elite mm -hmm. mid-range jump shooter, and DeMar DeRozan as well has a strong mid-range game, too. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. And tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Jay, high post. Inside. Oh, shit. Millsap with the steal. Bad night for turnovers. Murray against Rondo. And it's JaVale McGee with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. James checked in for the Lakers. LeBron James. Harris outside. Let's it go from 14. Kuzma pulls it in. Kuzma's got his sixth rebound on the night. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. All right, guard that guy, man. Martin against LeBron. Now here's Murray. Tight oh, defense pumping that ass? Passes it to Jokic. Oh, Tight my goodness. <laughs> Jokic has got his second bucket of the game to go. Tough shot that time by Jokic, finishing through contact. Great display of power and strength by Nikola Jokic. And it's sent back by Millsap. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. It's Barton on the wing, covered by LeBron. And Paul Millsap, the bucket on the assist by Barton. Love watching Millsap go to work inside. He's a pretty smooth operator in the paint. Good footwork, good strength, and good touch. Kuzma passes to Che. Oh, I just escaped that. <laughs> Shea's got 10 points in the quarter. Boy, what a quarter for him. I mean, he's found his rhythm, and he's really riding that wave right now. Now Murray. He's been putting up the points on a very steady basis, averaging around 17 and a half points a game. They get a hand on it. Shot clock at six. Here's Millsap. Nice D from Cousins. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. Denver's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Murray against Rondo. Oh, what a steal, baby. And here we go. Che heading to the There hoop. you go. And Che throws it down. Boy, Che's quick feet and hands on defense allow them to get out on the break. Gets them an easy bucket. Rondo against Murray. On the wing, Harris. And again, Denver no good. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. Cousins. Good, and the assist goes to Chase. And 12 points for DeMarcus Cousins. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Oh, shit. Millsap has the open look. Sinks the three-pointer. Millsap's got his third And sometimes they're really, right they're really bad on Millsap, defense. My this team. time with the catch and fire showing off his versatility. Look at my screens. <laughs> James, the pass to Che, to the inside. Cousins okay, trying to free himself up. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. 
You know, guys, um, in his rookie season, Kyle Kuzma shot over 36. All right, we're up by 36. Holy crap. With one on the clock. The shot that time, not on target. So as we conclude the first half, so far, fairly one-sided. Los Angeles on top, opening up a huge gap. We'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. Second, what can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today! No problems. Wait, fighting we're talking about. I got the, the, I got the better performance. A lot of points. No goals. effort. Oh yeah, my you know goodness! What, guys, they gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All That's good. He's not making free throws. Here's who's on the floor. Taking a look at the Nuggets. The backcourt is Murray and Harris. At the forward slots, it's Barton and Milton. And it's Jokic in at the five down low. Just five on the clock. Goes and a foul, to too. For the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. It's going to go on Will Barton. And, you know, that right there is a case of Che knowing how to use his body to not only shield the defender, but to get the and one chance, too. Harris drives in. And slam dunk by Harris. And how high can you fly? I mean, he finishes that one with some pop. GA after getting loose in the lane with a scintillating move. Well, I tell you what, he deserves to do some collar popping after that sequence. And the dunk by Jay. Rondo just knows how to wheel and deal. It has that exceptional feel for when one of his guys is open. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, Kevin, over the last few years, there's been a lot of talk about seeding playoff teams 1 through 16, regardless of conference. Now, taking the top 16 teams is a tough sell, especially for owners whose teams are in the relatively weaker Eastern Conference. But taking eight teams from each conference and then cross-seeding earlier than the finals is something that does seem possible down the road. The reward for fans might be a finals matchup with the two best teams in the league. Kevin? Interesting ideas, David. Thank you. Millsap finds Jokic. Now here's Murray. He's guarded by Davis. Murray, good. They found a nice groove in this half, starting out three for four. Yeah, this is definitely out of their hands right now. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. James dishes to Jay. Oh, Kuzma was over the shit. to Davis. That works too. <laughs> the back of the rim and in. Davis has got 14. Another double double. As dangerous as he is inside, Davis gives opponents nightmares when he's able to get to the mid range. He's very reliable when he steps back and takes the jump shot. Murray against Ronda. Out to Harris. Jacks up a three. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got assist number five here tonight. A nice start to the second half. Just one miss in their first five attempts. To the paint. And Shay throws it down. And I'll tell you what, guys. I think that's the best part of James's game. And he's got a lot of good parts. But his vision is otherworldly. And Harris wide open. He shoots another three for Denver. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. To the middle. Makes Man, they're really bad at defending me. Chase got 27. Nice aggressive move by Chay. Gets bounced around a little bit, but maintains his focus. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for Denver. Following this game, they hit the road to challenge the Suns in Phoenix. That will conclude. That's my rebound, damn it. Road trip. You know, scoring efficiency has been low, and it's not helping them on the scoreboard. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Kyle Kuzma. That's foul number two for him. Denver's gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. And, you know, quite a bit of turnover for the Lakers in recent years, guys, from the front office to the coaching staff. I think it's always important for an organization to have a oh, don't common get that. voice to speak in stereo and have everybody in proper alignment from the top down to the court. The Lakers have gone as spotless, six of six from the field, since taking the court here in the second half. 
LeBron. Now you just jinxed it, Kevin. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit oh, on shit. the interior. Oh, shit. Oh, man, you guys he are... He never lets a shot go the rebound. They are in complete control. This is the ultimate definition of the zone. Oh, my gosh. Has worked. Double-handed, baby. Competitor now. He's not going to be denied when he's inside. He's going straight to the tent. And as the Lakers have looked to fill positions, Clark, a real affinity for candidates with the Lakers history. Yeah, you know, that's exactly right. They view it as a family, but here recently, they've expanded their options and have looked outside of past Laker pedigree in terms of filling some key spots, which is part of what you have to do if you're going to move forward and be successful. Harris looking it over. Pass to Jokic. Oh man, it's a mismatch. Over Jay. And oh good. man, you got the English that time as it falls. And that's now eight points for Jokic. Jokic fully capable of knocking down the mid-range jumper. Tremendous confidence from here. You got to DM up better than that. Here's Davis, who's back up, and there's there two points on the lane. Davis has got four points this quarter. Yeah, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. The Nuggets shooting 39% from the floor. Not their best. Barton finds Jokic. He'll zap down low. He's against Kuzma. Get it. Okay, get the rebound, maybe. Shea's got five rebounds tonight. Good, and English. this goes to LeBron. <laughs> LeBron's finger roll. got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Murray, the pass to Jokic. Jokic draws the double. Outside for Murray. No good on the triple. And the great shooters know when they've got enough open oh, okay. to go for the three. I didn't Man, think it was I was a another assist. choice on that possession. Analytics, Clark, are such a major factor for coaching staff. Changes Man, I thought the they're not, okay, I thought they're not going to let me play for, for a sec. Kuzma. Wow, we're still up by, subbed in for we're almost up by 60. <laughs> We've got Murray. He's out there with Jay. Avery Bradley is out there with JaVale McGee. Oh, my gosh. And it's Caruso in at the point guard position. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. I still haven't missed a three in my career. Three from That's Morris. crazy. Avery Bradley pulls it in. The Lakers shooting 64%. Beautiful all-around play by this offense. And another and assist. Big thank you, Caruso. Not shot from outside. There, there's no doubt about that. Spreading the floor and getting them up. Love the mentality there. I tell you. I know I've never coached, but, man, plan to win and being aggressive even with the lead as opposed to being safe and going into prevent offense, I'll take the former all day long. Play to win. You know, this has been a totally different half for him. He definitely looks more comfortable now, guys. But it's too late. Caruso, the pass to Murray. He dishes it to Che. Looking for McGee, he gets it there. Good! And it's Che picking up the assist. Six points for JaVale McGee. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Pass to Jokic. Morris outside. Again, the Nuggets score. Hey, when you look at Jokic, forget about calling him a good passing big man. He's a great passer, period. Shea outside. Murray outside. Mark, do you think we in the media overemphasize championship rings when talking about an individual player's legacy? Yeah, I think when you talk about an individual player's legacy, a player can be a champion without a championship ring. I know there's another level of champion which includes a championship ring, and sometimes it gets distorted in my estimation because an individual only has so much impact on a team being a championship team. There are no individual team champions. Teams win championships. Being a key player or a role player on the championship team is certainly worthy of recognition and being held in high esteem, but I don't like to see championship caliber players being diminished in the court of public opinion because they didn't win 
a team championship ring. Like Stockton and Malone. Exactly. You could go down the list of number of guys who just weren't, for whatever reason, able to get the ultimate in a team championship, but had championship Hall of Fame career. Like at six to the inside. Beasley with the steal. One on one here. The 17 footer. Rebounded by McGee. McGee's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Murray. No good, unable to end this run. Denver's gotten three of their six. Yeah, this is like a walk in the court. park. Beasley against Bradley. Passes it to Vanderbilt. To the wing right side. Oh, fuck is a Vanderbilt. Softly drops in the floater. Boy, that was a sweet looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. And Caruso's got the ball here for the Lakers. And the pass to McGee. To the paint. Jay kicks to Murray. Shot clock at five. There you that go. Good for That's two. That's why his teammates are always happy when Jay's on the floor. I mean, with his passing ability, he puts them in great position to score the ball. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Lakers. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching their lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And now on the year, this will take them to 28 wins. And continued dominance against this team, winning both of their matchups this season. And, you know, against a conference opponent, Greg, who you're going to see four times total on the season, a two to nothing advantage is pretty healthy. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Jay. Just an outpouring of points from him. Oh, Nobody over you, dog. To keep him from dropping it in. A one man show offensively, and that's almost. Now we scored 150. For his team. Holy. Jokic high post. Oh, man, Jokic and Caruso? And shoots. Damn, Caruso that won? One's not going to go. <laughs> They've shared the load offensively. And guys, they put the defense on their heels. You can see right now they're trying to react. And that's what you want when you're in a rhythm offensively. And you know, despite the bittersweet ending for the Nuggets, what a great Oh, you hear the chant, bro? They won their division and finished second in the West. Outstanding season that had them falling out in the second Oh my round. gosh, but I missed both people. That sucks. to the Nuggets. Danny Green, he's checked in for the Lakers. You know, in talking to Chase teammates, one of the takeaways is that he's terrific in the locker room, a really funny guy, and has a way of keeping everybody loose. So far, we've seen them be a bit careless with the ball. Simply put, out of control is how they play thus far. They're going to have to reel it in and show some more discipline. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Murray, the pass to Chase, and Chase throws it down. We, we're, I'm shooting at 89 percent. That's crazy. Focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback? The mid stuff. And so it's the Lakers. Hella free. Business here. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you gotta commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play. You've got that meet and greet with the season ticket holders now. Oh shit! Meet and greet. Yeah. Yep. Let's go. Okay, I'll be there in a second. You can talk to the fans right now. No quick. problem. Hey, See you there. All right. Yeah, I love you. Okay, will they show the autograph thingy? Huddle up, baby. Oh, shit. Hey, yo, listen up. All right, real quick. I want to recognize Che for killing it out there tonight. All right, great effort on both sides of the ball. Come get your trophy, kid. That's for me? Oh, you. Okay. <laughs> Damn, they should have done it the last game, too.
Hey, this is crazy, fellas, man. I'm gonna give a little speech. <laughs> speech. First off, I want to thank my mom. You were real when you always been there for me. My first grade teacher, Miss Daniels. You were real one, Miss D. And uh, last but not least, I want to thank uh, <laughs> is he gonna this cry? dude at the deli yesterday. He gave me two ham sandwiches for the price of one. No, I've seen enough, man. And I want to thank you too, Coach, because you know you a beast. Get out of here. All right, I'm gonna leave. I'm Go. gonna leave. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Man, my coach is an asshole, huh? Hey, show me the autograph thing. Nah, they didn't show it. Alright, this one is a marquee matchup because this is our very first game of the season and didn't play. So, this one is going to be interesting. It's against the Los Angeles Clippers. So, tune in for that one, guys. Thanks.